What I am about to show you is perhaps the most effective, consistent, and game-winning strategy you may ever use in Rainbow Six Siege. Don't believe me? Just wait. I have over 30 clips of it working and won so many games with it that I just quit recording because I had enough clips already. I seriously debated even showing you guys this because it is my prized possession. But I post on this channel for you guys and I'll be ready to counter my own strat when this video breaks the meta. I've never seen anyone do it the way I do it and I've never seen anyone do it better than I do it. It works against golds, it works against plats, and it works against diamonds. And I'm sure it works works against champions too. It even worked against Macy J. I'll show you the clips later in this video. About four months ago, I posted a video on my channel when I first started using this strat with Mute, and it was pretty good. But if you missed with Mute's shotgun, it was a little challenging to recover from. So I switched to Ella's shotgun because it's semi-automatic and still very powerful. And this is how well I've done with it four months later. that up. Bonus. Got a bonus guy. Red. They dropped. One skylight. He's in. He's in over here. Bathroom. I'm gonna get pinched. They drop skylight. Is it possible for you to go around? Do I get an ace with it every time? Of course not, because I usually don't have to chase people down on the east side of the building. But the 3k you saw in the beginning, I do get almost every single time. Rarely do I only get one kill with this strat. Pay close attention how I juggle my positioning in this next clip, and then we're really gonna dig into this because there's a lot more going on here than you think.
Was that Hatch? Yeah, he ran down red. Might go to white. So how do you get this strat to work for you like it does for me? Now that you've seen the strat executed, let me break down the mentality and the necessary steps to make this strat work. I'm gonna show you the setup for a solo queue, which still works really good, duo queue, which is so much better, and three stacked, which is nearly untouchable. To set up for a solo queue, you'll start by putting your shield up against the cabinet in cigar. Next, I get rid of the cigar boxes on the bottom shelf in the little cigar room where the hatch is. Then with Ella's pistol, I put a line of bullet holes at head height and at crouch height looking towards the top of red stairs. This is so I can see anybody pushing up the red stairs or see them when they drop the red stairs hatch. Next I put a Grismont mind on the wall underneath the bonus hatch to give me a heads up when they drop the hatch. Far enough to the right of the red stairs doorway so that when someone walks through I don't get affected by the Grismont mind as well and in piano behind this chair. I put this here in case they get the red wall open and start to push around. It'll go off and let let me know that they're there so that I can react. I also put bullet holes all the way across the bottom of the small cigar room, reinforce the hatch because I have had people go below and try and drop me down and barricade the door between cigar and piano. This is to cut off the line of sight that they can get on you. They can actually kill you from repel if they know you're in the little cigar room. If you're duo queue, then go Ella and mute. But instead of shotgun for mute, go MP5. You'll see why here in a second. Mute will put his first jammer in piano up against the wall over by mini bar window. This will cover one half of the wall and you can't shoot it from any windows. The second jammer will go in cigar up against the wood cabinet. This will get the other side of the red wall so that they can't open it and still can't be shot from any windows. The third jammer will go in the small cigar room over by the hatch. This is to help keep you from being droned out from top of red stairs and bonus hatch. And the fourth jammer goes next to the door of the small cigar room. Since Mute has the MP5, he'll play in piano and contest the windows repel in. If you're three stacked, add Jaeger to the mix and he'll put his ADSs in cigar, one on the wood cabinet first and then another one right next to it on the wall near the red stairs door. This is to protect the shield and of course you while you're running around. The third ADS can go somewhere on cocktail side wherever it's needed. Now here is how I actually execute this strat once the setup is finished. The first thing I do is wait at head height for someone to drop the red hatch or push up the red stairs into my line of sight. They almost always do. Once I kill the first guy, I switch positions slightly by going prone and a little to the left so they don't just drop and pre-fire exactly where I was in case their teammates called it out. But oftentimes somebody will drop the bonus hatch. You'll know when because the concussion will go off as soon as they drop. Since they won't be able to hear and are still disoriented, quickly push around into bar and swing them on bonus balcony. Even if they know you're coming, you'll still have the advantage because you have a shotgun close range. Then I almost always run back to the box because you have to expect that the team is calling out where you are. Oftentimes I can get a third guy by pushing back into the small cigar room or going back to the shield and shooting them so through the wood cap when they push in. If they do all that quick peek stuff, check and see if you're there. Sometimes it's best to just swing them after they do that, but not always. It's really important to note the three most dangerous angles for you when playing this strat. I would say the first one is from South Piano Repel, the one we barricaded off. The second one is definitely going to be from the skylight, because you can actually be seen when walking from cigar into bar from the skylight, and I've died from it many times. And the two other major angles are from the bonus hatch in cigar and in bar. If you sit right here where I am right now, you cannot be shot from either the skylight or the bonus hatch. I wanted to make mention that just because you're solo queued doesn't mean you can't ask your randoms for mute jammers and ADSs. You can, of course, but just don't expect to get them. Remember how I said this strat worked against Macy J? Well, it did. I'm about to show you those clips here in just a second. It just goes to show how a good strat with enough practice can work against anybody regardless of their experience. Look, I fucked it up. Yo, Jaeger, could I get ADSs on ping, my dude? So I didn't get it in cigar. Got one there and then one right next to it. Right underneath it? 
Um, on the wall. On the concrete wall. Yeah, thank you, sir. I got you, dude. What? But we should have had that other duck, but I got clapped from the hatch and Yeah. His jackal didn't run clear. Like... God knows what he was doing. Knows. There's Macy. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Chopped red. Top red. Also dropped over the thing. Trying so hard. That's bonus, bonus, bonus. New bulk. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Bonus, bonus swing. Nice. Last cigar, last scene. Yeah, cigar. I saw a couple of those on Reddit. So that's why I know the the dead body uh, still counts the Rima Dash. It's really weird. I have a flank cam on red in case you die. The, they they did this last game. They're holding um they're holding a cigar with Ella Shotty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bad, I caught that a little late. I didn't thought we had somebody on the hatch. No longer in your possession. Sure has been recovered. That's tough. I wish I knew that sooner. It's very easy to bypass. You can just kill him from the piano window and anybody in the humidor. She's prone. Prone in the humidor. Prone in the humidor. Down. Dead. One's in piano on the stage. In piano on the stage. Still on the stage, on piano. I think he's... Eagle on ping, Eagle on ping. Eagle yep. on ping, Eagle on ping. One friendly operator remaining. He moved up. No, don't mark on the camps. Thank you.